Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture series of engineering graphics and design. Myself Ankur Patel and today in this fifth session of projection of lines we will continue our practice with problems of projection of lines. But today we have some unique examples with some unique methods. So let's start with the first problem. A line AB has its end A in front of VP 30 mm above HP and B in VP 20 mm below HP. Line is inclined at 30 degree to the VP and the apparent angle in elevation is 30 degree. Draw the projection of the line AB. Find the true length, the elevation length and the plan length of the line. Measure the inclination of the line with the horizontal plane. So the given data is uh, phi is 30 degree because the angle of inclination of the line with the uh, vertical plane is given which is 30 degree. Alpha is also 30 degree because the apparent angle in elevation is 30 degree. Now uh, a is in front of VP and 30 mm above HP. So A is in front of VP and 30 mm above HP and it is how many uh, mm uh, in front of VP is not given. And uh, B is uh, in VP and uh, 20 mm below HP. So uh, by using this data we have to draw the projection. We have to find out the true length of the line, the elevation length of the line the plan length of the line and the angle of inclination of the line with the horizontal plane that is we have to find out the theta. So let's start with the first xy reference line and after uh, marking xy reference line the first thing is we have to mark the plan and elevation of any end point. But right now here uh, we have incomplete data for each point. So we doesn't mark the plan and elevation of any point but we will draw the locus for that point only. So A is in front of AP and uh, 30 mm above HP, so 30 mm above the XY reference line, we will get the locus of A dash and it is in front of VP, but the distance is not given. So uh, we will get the plan below the XY reference line, but right now the V doesn't have the distance. So we doesn't mark the locus of A. B is in VP, in VP, that means we will uh, get the, whenever the point is in VP, uh, the plan of that point will be on the XY reference line. So on locus of, uh, so XY line will be locus of B and B1. And it is 20 mm below HP. So 20 mm below the XY reference line, we will get B dash and B1 dash. Now we have alpha 30 degree, phi 30 degree. And phi is the angle of AB1, which is our true length. And alpha is the angle of A dash B dash, which is our elevation length. And right now we have locus of A dash and locus of B dash also. So we will start with the elevation. So mark point A dash on locus of A dash anywhere on the locus because this is the locus of A dash, so we can mark A dash on this locus anywhere. From A dash draw a line inclined at an angle of 30 degree in downward direction because right now the locus of B dash is over here. So from A dash draw, an, uh, draw a line in, at an angle of alpha which is 30 degree. So here uh, we will get the B dash. So right now we have the B dash. And if you want to draw phi angle, B1 or A is required. We have locus of B1, but right now as we have marked A dash, we doesn't mark B1. We will get the B1, but we doesn't mark or we, we doesn't assume B1 on X line anywhere. And we doesn't have the locus of A also. So right now we doesn't draw the phi angle. So let's try to find the points by using this length. This is our elevation length. So first of all, draw n projectors from A dash and B dash. So on A dash, on this projector, we will get A somewhere below the XY reference line. And on this projector, which is the projector of P, we will get the plan of point B because we already have the B dash. So right now we have the locus of plan of point B over here. So here we will get B. Now, measure A dash, B dash, take center at A dash and give n up to locus of A dash. Here we will get B2 dash. Try to find maximum points by using this lens. So from B2 dash, draw straight line up to locus of B. Here we will get B1. Now from B1, draw a line. Incline at an angle of 30 degree because 30 degree, phi is the angle of uh, A, B1. Now we have B1. So from B1, we, we can draw a line incline at an angle of phi, which is 30 degree. And we will get the uh, intersection of this line on projector of A. So here we will get A. So A, B1 is our true length. This is incline at an angle of phi. As this angle is phi, this angle is phi. Both will remain same. Now connect AB, which is our plan length, and the angle of the plan length is beta. Now measure this two length AB1. Uh, 
tick center at a dash and give an account locus of uh, p dash. So here we will get p1 dash. Connect p1 dash to a dash. This will be our two length and angle of this two length is theta. Now measure this two length. Two length will be equal to 115 mm. Measure the elevation length a dash b dash we will be equal to 100 mm. Measure the plan length AB which will be equal to 103 mm and measure theta angle which will be equal to 26 degree. So these are the final answers. Now let's move on to next example. A line PQ 80 mm long has its end P 15 mm above HP. Line makes an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal plane and 45 degree to the vertical plane and Q of the line is 10 mm in front of VP. Draw the projection of the line considering in the first quadrant. So right now the line is in the first quadrant. So we, we will get all the points of the line. That means point P above the HP in front of VP. We will get point Q above HP in front of VP. So the given data is uh, two length of the line is 80 mm. Uh, phi angle that is angle of inclination of the line with the vertical plane which is phi is 45 degree. Theta is 30 degree. Angle of inclination of the line with the horizontal plane which is 30 degree. And P of the line is 15 mm above HP and it is in front of VB because P is in the first quadrant. That is given that line is in the first quadrant. And, and Q is 10 mm in front of VB. And Q is in 10 mm in front of VB. And uh, we have to uh, draw the projections only. We doesn't need to find out any data. So first of all draw uh, X y reference line. And here we have incomplete data for each point. So we doesn't mark any point. We will draw the locus of each point. So P is 30 mm above HP. So 30 mm above the XY reference line, we will get locus of P dash. And Q is 10 mm in front of AP. So 10 mm below the XY reference line, we will get locus of Q and Q1. Now we have phi and theta angle. And make sure that when we have incomplete data for each point, we will start with the second point and we will start with the Q1 point by marking Q1 on locus of Q and Q1. So mark Q1 on locus of Q, Q1, this will be a Q1 and from Q1 we can draw a phi angle which is 45 degree and you can say that the phi is the angle of uh, two length of the line PQ1. For this example, the two length will be PQ1 which is inclined at angle of phi. So from Q1 draw a line inclined at angle of 45 degree and we have the two length. So at the two length an angle of 45 degree draw a line from Q1. So here we will get P. This will be the locus of P and this angle is also the phi angle. Now from P draw a straight line or draw the projector of P. So here we will get P dash because the projector of end are on the same line. So this is P dash. Now from P dash we can draw theta angle showing the true length. So showing the true length at an angle of theta from P dash draw a line in upward direction because uh, right now Q is in the first quadrant. So we will get Q dash above the X y reference line. So here we will get Q1 dash. This will be locus of Q dash and Q1 dash. So this is true length theta true length at phi angle. Now we have to find out the projection of the line. That means we have to find out the plan and elevation length of the line. So what we will do? So first of all draw a straight line from Q1 to locus of P dash. Here we will get Q2 dash. And as we know that P dash Q2 dash is our elevation length. But it is not elevation because we have the elevation of P dash but we doesn't have the elevation of Q. So for that we have to take the center at P dash and we have to rotate the Q dash up to locus of Q dash. So here we will get Q dash and by connecting P dash Q dash we will get the elevation at an angle of alpha because alpha is the angle of elevation and with xy reference line. Now uh, draw the end projectors from P dash and Q dash. So these are the end projectors and as we know that if we have Q dash over here on the same projector we will get Q on the locus of Q because we have already the locus of Q and Q1. So here we will get Q connecting PQ. We will get the plan length and the angle of the plan length is beta. So this is our final answer, our final projections because there isn't any need to find out the any data. Now let's move on to next example. 
align AB 60 mm long, has is and A on VP, B on HP. Line is inclined to HP by 60 degree and to VP by 30 degree. And it is 20 mm away from the profile plane. Draw the projection of the line. So here the given data is uh, 2 length is 60 mm, theta 60 degree, phi 30 degree. A is on VP and B is on HP. Line is 20 mm away from the profile plane. So whenever we get the theta and phi angle like this, that means if we uh, take the summation of theta and phi, it will be equal to 90 degree. So whenever the summation of theta plus phi is equal to 90 degree, we will use the or we will follow the particular method that we are going to uh, discuss in this problem. So first of all, uh, draw vertical plane, horizontal plane and profile plane. And these are the principal reference planes which are mutually perpendicular to each other. Now we have to draw a line showing the two length uh, on the uh, over here. So draw a line to having two length uh, which is equal to 60 mm and right now this point is our point A which is in the vertical plane and this point of the line which will be our point B which is in the horizontal plane. And the angle of this line with the horizontal plane is theta which is 60 degree and angle of this line with the vertical plane is pi which is uh, 30 degree and the summation of both angles will be equal to 90 degree. And the line is 20 mm away from the profile plane. So right now we have uh, set the given data. Now the uh, process is we have to find out the projection of this line AB. Projection mean, means we have to find out the plan and elevation of both points or we have to find out the plan and elevation of this line. So first of all, if you want to draw the uh, elevation of this line or if you want to find out the elevation of this line AB, we have to uh, draw a line or projection line perpendicular to the vertical plane from A and from B. So uh, we will get A dash over here and from B we have to draw a line perpendicular to the vertical plane. So we will get B dash over here exactly. So this is A dash, B dash, connect this line, this will be our elevation length. And if you want to find out the plan of A and B, we have to draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from and A and from and B. So uh, draw a line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A. So here we will get A exactly over here, plan of point A. And from point B draw a line perpendicular to the horizontal plane. But right now the point B is on HP. So we will get plan of point B over here exactly at B. Connecting AB we will get the plan length. Now uh, as uh, the profile plane is given, we can draw uh, uh, the side view also. So if you want to draw the side view of this line, we have to uh, draw a projection line perpendicular to the profile plane from A and B. So for, from A, draw a line perpendicular to the profile plane. Here we will get A double dash because the side view is denoted by A dash. And from B, draw a line perpendicular to the profile plane. Here we will get B dash. Connect A dash, B dash. We will have a side view. Right now, we will uh, get the side view length equal to two length because if you uh, show here that uh, this line is parallel to the profile plane. So whenever the theta plus phi is equal to 90 degree, the line will be parallel to the profile plane and the side view will give us the true line. So this is our side view which is inclined at angle of theta to the horizontal plane, phi to the vertical plane like this. Now after drawing the plan and elevation uh, and the side view of this line, we have to rotate horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise and profile plane 90 degree in the anticlockwise direction. So rotate horizontal plane and vertical plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction. We will get the orthographic view of horizontal plane, vertical plane and profile plane like this. So this will be our x1, y1 line. This will be our x, y line. Now draw the side view on the profile plane at an angle of theta and phi to the x1, y1 line and x, y line. So this is our side view and the side view length is equal to 2 length. A double s, B double s, 2 length is equal to side view length. A angle of the side view with the x y reference line will be equal to theta. So this will be equal to theta. And angle of the side view length with the x1 y1 line will be equal to phi, which is 30 degree. So here we will get the phi. Now, if we want to draw the plan and elevation of this line 20 mm away from here, we will get a dash over here and b dash over here. So this will be our elevation length. And uh, if you want to draw the plan, we have we can draw plan over here. So first of all, uh, we will get plan of point A over here, exactly over here. And if you want to draw the plan of point B, 
uh, rotate this point B double dash over here and draw a straight line like this. So here we will get B, and by, by connecting AB we will get the plan length. And right now the angle of the plan length and elevation length that is alpha and beta will be equal to 90 degree. So whenever we will get the data like this, we will use this particular method. And whenever the theta plus phi is equal to 90 degree, this is 90 degree dot 900. This is 90 degree. So whenever the theta plus phi is equal to 90 degree, alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 degree. So alpha and beta both will be equal to 90 degree and line will be parallel to the profile plane. So our line will be parallel to the profile plane. And as you know that whenever the line is parallel to a particular reference plane, the view of that line on that particular reference plane will give us the true line. So right now the line is parallel to the profile plane. So the side view line will give us the true line. So this is the final answer. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. We will come with some more problems of projection lines in our next lecture. Till then take care.